so here's the Bluefly radio, uh, which has all the various components. The thing what we're gonna do is we are going to solder uh, these pins here. Uh, so we have on the side where the button is, starting from there, we have the ground, then we have receiver, then we have transmission, and then we have voltage. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, once we solder this, the receiver from this would actually go to the transmission on Kobo, and uh, the transmitter on the radio would go to the receiver on the Kobo uh, as well. Uh, another thing I've done for a little bit of prep is already, is I have these wires um, that did come with the, the, the radio itself, um, but they were under a kind of a protective cover. I've taken them out just for, it makes it easier to uh, work with them. Is uh, if I've uh, taken the wire out and I've pre-soldered them. Uh, the reason to pre-solder these is that it will help um, that I'll, as well, last is the voltage. All right, so if you look here, you should see that I have solder on it. Um, they don't seem to contact each other, which is great. Um, and now I'm gonna just attach those wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with ground. Uh, so black is gonna identify ground. And I'm gonna see if I can cut this to length. Um, the reason being is so that the wire doesn't get exposed further and touch any other uh, part of the circuit as well. A few moments later. All right, there you go. So I have these all soldered. Um, I do see a little bit of that exposed wire. What I'm actually later on gonna do is I'm gonna put um, probably some hot glue on it as well. That would make sure that these remain intact uh, and there's a bit of a insulation between those wires as well. I have my Kobo here. Um, I am going to pry it open. I've done this before um, since I've got this as well. Uh, so what I generally do is use a little bit of my thumb just to run along this edge. I think it helps a little bit of uh, separating it apart. The first time you open it, you may run into like you may need to put a little bit more pressure, uh, but subsequent opens should be more quicker. All right, there you go. So have this out, um, which is great. Now on to the next thing. So the first thing is there is the battery here. The SD card is here. Um, the serial port where we're gonna solder is on this side. Uh, and then, yep, I believe that's right. Okay, so what we'll do is first we're gonna pop this out, power. The reason being is so that we don't short anything else as well when we're working it. All right, there you go. The power is out. So make sure this is clear of all other things as well. Uh, of course, it's e-ink, so I think that just remains there. Uh, before, while you have this opened, make sure to take this uh, SD card out and back up it. Um, because once you put stuff in it, if something goes wrong, you have a way to get back to its original state as well. Where so in one in the instructions um, so here is the so i'm going to point it is the voltage the transmitter which will go to the receiver on the radio side um, the receiver on this side will go on the transmitter on that one and then this is ground i believe somewhere it was written that don't use the ground here but instead use these pins as ground because those are also ground as well so I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna take this out and six and a half hours later. Okay, and this is put in, which is good. I'm gonna just make sure.
I'm not going to attach it right now. I'm just gonna turn it on and then hope no smoke comes out. Ooh, that's turned on, which is great. Great. So fly. Okay, okay, it's initializing. That's good. Things are working. I also had set the configuration devices. It's connected. Um, and then let's see monitor. Yeah, so I have the data coming in, which means things are working as expected. 